Hey what's going on everybody thank you for tuning in to another JD channel video which today we're dealing with an issue on the Gen 8 Civic I've been trying to see if I solved it with a number of kind of solutions but this time we're going to try something new so stay tuned and see how it goes so for today's job we will need to remove the bumper because I've been having issues with my AC which most Gen 8 Civics have there have been a number of solutions I've tried include like messing with the refrigerant okay levels good so that's not right so it's full and it's not in the red checking to see if the belts are good that's all connected nothing's loose there belts so that's not right and then I even had some components replaced with my buddy from Honda so right now we're going to try a solution that will clean the condenser and hopefully it works I've read online that you just pretty much just use some household items to clean it now this is important before you decide to work on it make sure that the car is cold because Obviously everything will be very hot and if you decide to work on AC that's probably not a good thing. Also I would recommend before you touch any chemicals or work with anything, wear some gloves so at least you protect yourself. That being said, let's get started. So for this job you are going to have to take off the bumper. Mine is a little easier because my bumper is janky and I don't have the cowl or this piece right here. That you have to take off all the clips before you do it. So all I'm going to need in this case is to remove the sides which aren't even secure because I'm going to replace this bumper and a good old number 5 Allen key to take off the grill part. I'm not even going to take the bumper all the way off because I just need access to the condenser. So I'm going to take it off right here. Usually you take out the clips. I just don't have the clips, so. Alright, and then we're gonna take this right off. Let's see here. Take off the sides first. Okay, we just come right off. See, and you have access to your AC condenser right here. So in my case with my AC, it gets hot when the car doesn't move. It doesn't get fully hot, it just gets warmer than usual. And I've replaced everything else like the hoses and such. So now I'm going to try clean the condenser. So before you do that, obviously get some gloves because you're going to deal with a chemical you might not be familiar with. And what I've read online is you use the coil cleaner, which I picked this up from Home Depot. It has a scrubbing brush. But what I've heard from people on the forums is don't use the scrubbing brush on the actual condenser because it might dent the soft aluminum. So what we're going to do is basically just spray it on and then clean it off. It says it's self-rinsing, but obviously I'm going to clean it with the hose. So let's give it a shot. Let me put my stuff down. All right, so the instructions just say to shake it. I'm not going to use this. I mean, I could use it to clean it, but I don't want to risk it. So just shake it and spray on, let it sit, and then wash it off. So. Really big condenser. That's why you have to take off the bumper. Has that lemony scent, it's kind of interesting. Hopefully this works. Yeah, this thing's dented, so I kind of wonder if it probably was a condenser. That's supposed to foam. Ooh, it's black in that corner here. There you go, now we have foam in. You might want to take the whole bumper off so it doesn't get wet in between, but yeah, I'm doing it the lazy man's way. Get the foam up here. See? There you go, pull up. Yeah, 
because I've heard you should foam it, so let's see if this works. Get all the grimy crap out of there. Ooh, it's nice and black there. Go figure, only the Gen 8 has issues with AC, which my Integra does not, so this is BS. Okay, let's sit for a little bit. Alright, so I let it sit for about half an hour and you can see that all the foam has disappeared, so could lift the hood, but I think I'm going to leave it down just so I don't dirty the rest of it, and now I'm going to spray it. You want to use a very light mist around the coils to get all the chemical out, also just so it don't damage the fins. I'm not going to scrape it off, it comes with a brush, but I'm not going to scrape off on the fins because I don't want to damage them because they're soft. So let's turn on the hose and let's get started. So you want to set it on a very soft setting. Mine has a few options like mist and shower. Don't want to set it to jet because jet is very harsh because you'll see right here. If I put it on jet, you'll see, yeah, that's going to be a little too harsh. Put this back in front of the car. So I could do shower, but it's not going to be very well, if you can see here. Yeah. So we're going to go to more of a... We're going to go to mist, I believe. Let's try this out on the fins. No, not mist. Okay. We're going to go to soaker. Oh. shower actually so shower do it very gently from the top down to get all the chemicals out you don't want to do this very harsh make sure all the chemicals out all the chemicals kind of like flowing down based on it going downward I opened the hood in a little bit I just didn't want it to dirty the rest Get all of it to the hood off. Alright, after all that, you put the bumper back on and give it a try as long as everything is all clean and free of issues. It's a lot cleaner. I'm not sure how much though. Let's see if this thing helps. Alright, so 
things. Number five Allen key. Also, do want to point out if you do have a cold air intake that goes in the bumper, be careful, make sure that doesn't get wet. I have a short ram, so mine which is far enough that it won't go past the condenser. But if you have one that goes in the bumper, make sure that you wrap that up. Which I'm glad I don't right now. I'm considering it, so it's going to be something to look forward to. All right, and then once you've gotten everything put back on. Can test it out. Doesn't say I need to dry it, so I'm gonna go see how it runs now. Hopefully, made a difference. Actually, I should have used a thermometer to check. All right, so I've had it running for the last few minutes, and I can tell you that at least now it's cooling while it's parked. Before, when it idled. It was getting warm, so it feels like it made a difference. Hopefully this solved everything. But I do thank you for tuning into another JD Channel video. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully this helps you. Because with Gen 8, you have an array of issues like the relay down here, the compressor itself, or other items. So hopefully this helps. So take care and have a wonderful day.